Hey everyone, my name is Carrie Jane, and I am the author of Metanoia. And I've always wanted to say that instead of just my typical welcome to this channel. And then maybe one day I'll get to use my last name. Uh, but for now, it's just Carrie Jane. <laughs> for now, it's just Carrie Jane. So welcome, welcome here if you're new. Uh, welcome if you are watching this video on my sub stack. Uh, this is a potentially like a convergence of communities and it's ho hopefully gonna be a place where I can have people who are interested in numerology and then start to add people who like to write or read or just like creative different things and I'm making this video to talk about writing metanoia and I'm, I'm gonna be very uh, honest <laughs> in saying that this is not scripted. I don't really know for sure what I'm going to talk about in this video. This is simply a vlog. This is not a presentation of any kind. I just want to share what I'm doing with you guys. And it feels very strange. And I've, I've been doing this for a while, like this this making videos thing for a while. I've been writing Metanoia for a very long time. And for some reason, when I talk about my writing, it's extremely uncomfortable. It's bizarre because, you know, when I talk about numerology, I feel confident in a way like where I can take authority to some extent on what I'm saying and it comes out pretty easily but I have kept this book so close to my heart for so long that it feels unnatural to be sharing it in this way but it's it's starting to become a thing I am slowly learning with baby steps how to release it. It's it's very hard to release your baby <laughs> into the world and it's very hard to be vulnerable in this way um, because those of you who like to make any kind of art know that once you put it out there it's not really yours anymore. It's not just the criticism etc. Not everyone's gonna like my writing or what I've made. I'm at peace with that and I'm at peace with a lot of other things too. That's not the hard part. The hard part is is sharing something that I care about a lot. Uh, usually the, when I care about things and people, I keep them very private and I keep them very close to, you know, my chest in that way. And, and this, so this is why this feels very strange, <laughs> but nonetheless, Metanoia, I, I've started publishing it. I've started publishing Metanoia on Substack uh, by the time this video reaches you, the entire first part of of nine parts uh, will be published on Substack, so please uh, visit the link in the description, or I'll probably put a link in the comments if you want to see that. And that content is free to uh, let you decide if, if that's something that you, you want to, you know, journey into and follow me as I publish the rest of it. Another reason why this is so uncomfortable is because Metanoia is not finished yet. I'm going to be writing this as I publish it and this is scary, it's terrifying. Everything is subject to change but also this is a good thing because this makes me accountable as a writer for if and when I do develop some kind of readership and you guys really want to know what happens next, or I, I sit down with myself and I looked at everything that I've brought forward and published and exposed to everyone and and have to decide like I, I, this is unfinished and I need to, I need to finish it no matter what. So this is a good thing, as scary as it is. A reminder to all of you that if it's scary, it's probably something that you should do. <laughs> not, not, of course, all the time. Fear has a good function to it, where it saves our asses a lot, but not all the time. A lot of the time it just keeps us inhibited in ways that really hold us back and keep us from 
our purpose or a purpose that we have in this life. I'm gonna take a tea break. But um, yeah, so I, I want to uh, begin sharing metanoia with you and I'm going to try to make, make vlog style videos like this where I talk about this, this universe that I've created, how I've created it, and I have a lot of anxiety about it, so bear with me. Also, please, please forgive me. If anything, please forgive me for one thing, and that is that the content that I'm publishing on Substack is not edited. Whenever I finish this and I attempt putting it to print, I will hire an editor and you will get better content um, that is, you know, has been mulled over so many more times than, than what I've been able to, you know, give it. So yeah, just, just uh, if you see any typos or anything, please just know that I'm the only one that, that I, that can look at it for now and I'm only human. So I, I apologize for the mistakes that you see there, if there are any. Just the other day, I was editing and formatting it into Substack, like the individual posts, and I found a mistake that I think I made while I was editing it, and uh, I'm, I'm a little scared. <laughs> so yeah, just forgive me for that. I think that you're gonna like it anyway. I think that anyone here who likes numerology, anyone here who likes fantasy on any level, like for example, like the Sandman just came out and that's really cool, really interesting. It's it's a fictional space where it's ex extremely uh, imaginative, very philosophical. That's That's what I like. That's the kind of stuff that I like and I try to have that reflected in my writing specifically with this project so i think you guys are gonna like it like just click the link check it out tell me what you think and i want to begin by um sharing with you the prologue which is also on substack it's in the coming soon post uh, but yeah i'm just gonna read this to you real quick it says here first it, it begins with the definition of metanoia, which is a transformative change of heart, especially a spiritual conversion. The first known use is 1577, according to what I looked up, but I don't know how, how accurate that is, to be completely honest. Again, I'll need like an editor, maybe a fact checker eventually for that specific part, we'll see. But here's how it begins. It says, to some, the word metanoia holds the meaning of repentance. It also means an immense alteration of oneself in terms of mind, spirit, character, and morals. In this space, metanoia is not just a word for spiritual transformation, but a complex design of pathways fitted into a singular, universal journey of truth. This journey passes through various mediums, providing a diverse means to understanding. Metanoia is the road souls are on in one form or another. It is traveled alone and on different paths, occasionally intersecting with those our souls are familiar with. Metanoia came about from nothing and is everything. At first, this is difficult to grasp, but there are moments of clarity in life and spirit when the idea that nothing is something and something can be anything begins to make sense. Let's begin. So let's begin. Come on this journey with me. It's not just a journey within a story. It's an, it's an, it's a journey within a, a hopeful a future, hopefully a future author figuring herself out as she writes this journey. So I think that's pretty cool. I I know that some of you already um, already subscribed to Substack. So first of all, thank you so much. But please reach out to me in the comments, whether it's on this video or actually in Substack itself, and just introduce yourself. Like, let me know who you are. Uh, I, I want to know who you are. I want to know who's reading uh, this content. I want to know who's reading my book. I want to know 
what you're interested in about it, if anything, or just just tell me about yourself if you don't want to talk about it yet, if you don't if you're not sure how you feel about it. I just want to get to know you better. I I don't really know who my readership could be. I have a few ideas. I think that I I think that I know the kind of person who would like the story, but I would rather you tell me because I don't actually know at the end of the day. So, moving forward. What you just re uh, heard me read, which was the prologue, it is the introduction to this universe I made in which these nine souls travel through nine lifetimes and you get to read it in first person point of view uh, where you can, if you want to, uh, follow all the other characters. I will have a character chart if you want, if you want to see who's who in the next life, if you want to see, you know, how that evolves. And because this is such a big project, because it's such like a vast everything, I think that the focus from, from me putting uh, creating metanoia is a little bit less on the individual characters collectively and more about the evolution of their relationships and you will see like how they take on their roles and how their own soul, uh, souls perhaps even evolve in like a few minor ways but because it's written in pers first person point of view you're really just mostly taken through the evolution of one character. And I think that what I made is really cool because this is an entire universe. I'm thinking like the thing that I've made could lead to so many new ideas. It could be, um, my God, the fan fiction. <laughs> if I ever have fans, like the fan fiction would probably be better <laughs> than what I'm writing. Just just to think of all the possibilities with 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 each civilization that I created and with each character that I've created. There's a lot of potential with Metanoia. So what you're getting if you do subscribe is is a lot. I'm I'm giving you a universe to play with. <laughs> I, I hope that it's like something different in your life. I hope that it's something different in your media consumption. Like that is my goal. So here's here's the kind of like meat and potatoes like to those of you who on my on my YouTube channel. And that is that I used numerology to write all of the lifetimes. And you will see in the subheading of my my Substack posts what life path that is. So, for any two life paths uh, watching this video right now, your life path is already up there. And of course, if you're watching this far in the future, there will be more posted there. Uh, the the next after that is the three. Uh, the next after that is the four life path. So on and so forth. Uh, you will see, you will see, especially when I post my, my character chart, um, the secession that I've chose, the evolution of the life path numbers that I've chosen uh, throughout the story. And I hope that any of you with a seven life path are patient because you're the last one, haven't written that one yet, haven't written the six, haven't written the nine, so sorry guys. <laughs> but um, I'm really hoping, like I said, that this motivates me to finally get it, get get it together and and finish my baby. <laughs> this is my baby, really, truly. I've been working on this for 10 years now, so it's time. Each life uh, kind of begins at a different age, and the function of the first life that I wrote about, which was the two life path, a mediator, was basically just to prep you for the universe I created. This is what you should expect. Here are my characters. Here is where they began. This is the universe that we're working with. And uh, for those of you who, a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you who are here are 
um, in the spiritual community, you believe in spirit, you believe in reincarnation, a lot of you. And so this is why you're also going to like it because we have these same lives traveling together throughout this journey. Each uh, life begins with a quote to kind of give the reader a hint of what they're dealing with before I throw them in to the life. And to go back to the two life paths, the first lifetime that I wrote about, this, this one, as most journeys begin, <laughs> as most journeys begin, is is very uh, innocent this is a like a very kind of almost a paradise that i put everyone in uh, it's it's a very pure place that everyone starts with naive even and so i think that this was necessary to to start with with my first you know metanoia novel however I'm going to be completely honest, I hate <laughs> the first part. I, ed all throughout editing, I, I, I was like, uh, there's, there's just like this tiny piece of me that just wants to throw it out and rewrite it. But then I think about it and I'm like, no, I remember why I chose to do this and why I chose to write it like that. I want it to sound like it's a little girl. Like I want it to, to sound like I am looking through the lens of like a you know six-year-old girl almost like six to eight years old and that's kind of raw <laughs> for 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 those of us who want some like more mature writing but um that that's where this journey begins so i'm not really sure what to what to do about that yet please remember everything is subject to change so if anyone's like watching this in the future and they notice some changes I ch that that's what happened. Um, this is a journey. This is a process, and I'm hoping to attract some writers here because I want to know your writing process. Like I, I want I want you to see what what I'm going through and have someone tell me like yeah that's normal or yeah that happened to me too and this is how I dealt with that challenge or or just you know you can have someone to relate to if this is <laughs> something that that you're going through too as a writer or a creator in general, it doesn't have to be writing. I've said a lot about metanoia right now and I don't want to disclose too much. I, I do think that I would like to make more videos either just talking about the characters or either just talking about the worlds or 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 something about writing in general. So I'd I don't want to disclose too much in this video. I really just like want to say, hey, this is metanoia. <laughs> um, thank you for being here, and also please join me on this journey if you, if you will. And I think that a, a good takeaway for anyone who's like still watching this video is to please, if you can, uh, read metanoia slowly. Of course, a lot of you will be forced to read it slowly if you subscribe to it right now because it's just going to be like spoon fed to you over time um, unless you know you subscribe later on and unlock like a lot of content all at once like like how when you go into Netflix and you find there's like four seasons of a good show and you get really excited yeah don't like binge read <laughs> my book I think that it should be like a glass of wine like I think that um, the impact of my writing is better if you just take it like one paragraph at a time, you know, you think about it, it's, it should be read outside in a hammock, I think, <laughs> and it should be like sunny and a lot of greenery and there's a pretty lake, I don't know, just, just take your time, <laughs> please take your time reading my book. And if you want to really get into it, if you're really into fantasy, if you're into like sci-fi and stuff like that, uh, refer to the character chart, which I will be publishing on Substack soon i don't i don't know when yet um i need to i need to get my shit together <laughs> but eventually that character chart uh will be there if you are curious to see like okay on uh, the next life who's who the, oh this character is now this person now etc and you know it'll it'll say like the name of the world the life path etc so yeah guys this is this is really exciting for me and terrifying as i've as i've already said but mostly exciting 
And uh, there's a lot of you who helped me get here to this place where I had the courage to, to start sharing and I had the resources to start sharing. And, and so uh, you guys already know, like I've sent you an email and I've, I've comped your, you know, your um, subscription if you do want to like continue following me throughout the metanoia journey. And I just want to make you aware, like if you're watching this video right now, that you're the reason why I'm making this video right now and why I'm sitting here and and learning how to be a little bit more myself every day, learning how to share that and learning how to do something that is that is hard like this, whether it's the actual writing process or or what have you. And I hope that um, I over over the years when I'm making these videos attract a little bit more writers. I know that like a writer is not necessarily going to enjoy a numerology <laughs> forecast. I get it. I I hate that we have to fit into these tiny tiny niches um, on YouTube and online in order to reach an audience but I think that if you're here you're a little bit of, of a rebel because you want to see more out of this world, not just this kind of spirituality that uh, sounds pretty and nice and gets us things and stuff that we want, like the manifestation type of videos and, you know, not just the content that is, you know, flashy and makes us feel good and that's it, but actually uh, forces us to look at difficult things, forces us to examine our lives on a much deeper level so that we can transform and for those of you who've been here a long time you know that that's that's literally the definition of metanoia <laughs> it's an immense alteration of oneself it's a transformation and you can't transform anything unless you're doing a lot of work and i think that that the those of you who are following me here and have been for a long time are probably very unique people within this community because there's not many people who would sit through a very unentertaining video like this and still be here and perhaps I you know, I can't really say what you get out of these videos but I would imagine a lot of it is is uh, giving you the tools and resources to do some kind of introspective introspective analysis or even external analysis of the world and maybe not necessarily within yourself and wanting to do that work and wanting to transform your life and your own self and I think that's pretty cool. I think you're all pretty cool. <laughs> I think that um, I'm really lucky to have you here. So thank you and uh, I'll see you all soon either in a forecast video or a vlog about metanoia and take care. Have a lovely day.